For more on this, we're happy to welcome Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne. Congresswoman, welcome. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. Do you, do you think the decision to end Title 42 in April is based on apprehensions at the border? Is it, or is it because the administration wants to distance themselves from COVID as the midterms approach? I think what you saw on Tuesday night at the State of the Union was speechwriters who had watched and listened and read the polls and gave the American people what they wanted to hear, some kind of, of, of assurance that our borders were going to be protected. But what you're seeing by this president taking away Title 42 is, again, taking away more tools that we've got to be able to protect our borders. Border crossings are up 126 percent from this time last year, and they were already at record highs. The message that this president is sending is come over to our borders. He's telling the American people one thing, and yet completely cutting Customs and Border Protection and ICE off at the knees from being able to protect our borders. Congresswoman, it's been reported that some Border Patrol agents think Biden's State of the Union comments were simply empty lies. What do you think of what the president had to say? And I know you mentioned about the polls, which I do agree that that White House political team came in there and said it. But the audacity for the man, for the, the man, you know, who is in the White House to talk about border security, where he himself has done all the opposite actions to allow for drug cartels and human traffickers to dominate the border. He came in and he, took a, he removed the Remain in Mexico policy, which had been working so well under the Trump administration. He came in and stopped using Title 42. He took the, the ability for ICE agents to be able to remove criminal, illegal aliens from communities. He cut them off at the knees. So, yes, the rhetoric that he said on Tuesday night was absolutely that. The speechwriters obviously had not talked to his policy advisors, because if they had, they would realize that all of his words were absolute lies. And unfortunately, the American people are the ones who are having to suffer from that, the communities, the schools. We are emboldening, he is, Biden and his administration are emboldening human traffickers, sex traffickers, drug traffickers. And we're not seeing any of this stopping. In fact, what we're seeing by the policies that they're now putting in place this year, right after his speech, is they're actually going to be emboldening them, empowering them, and enriching them even more. Congresswoman, uh, you and I spent some time at the border last year, along with yeah. some of your other Texas colleagues. And your message then was to this administration, come to the border, see what's happening. Now we're almost mm -hmm. a year later after that visit. What's your message now? And do you still feel that the president should make his way down there? Absolutely. I mean, what you saw in Texas over this last election cycle was you're seeing more and more. We had record-breaking counties, dozens of counties, that had GOP record-breaking numbers. And a lot of those were in um, Hispanic communities, were in Hispanic-majority right. districts. And that's why is you are seeing untold amounts of fentanyl coming in. It is now the number one killer of, of American adults under 45 than anything else. Those, that, that, that drug is coming in illegally from our southern border, being manufactured in China. And the crime rates are up 25 percent in, 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 in areas. People are living this every day. The administration needs to come down, come down and talk to our Border Patrol agents who are dealing with this every day, find out what works, find out what's not working, have that conversation. You cannot govern from D.C. and never leave your ivory tower. If, if you don't want to get the answers, that's the exact way to govern. But if you want to be able to protect our borders, get down there and talk to the people who are doing it directly. They'll tell you. They'll tell you exactly what they need and what's working. Yeah, no question about it. Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne, it's great to see you. Thanks for taking time to be with us tonight.